Hello folks, it's time for a new video, uh, it's a lovely day today, the sun is shining, uh, this time we, uh, I think we are going to tie a dry fly today. So I was thinking of uh, doing a series of dry fly patterns and I would put it on my channel every second Sunday. Please subscribe to my channel and you get an update when, when uh, I put out a new video on my channel. So today we are going to tie a mini Shabby Chernobyl. It's, oh, it's so, it's a nice fly. It's, uh, it's with the rubber legs and everything. So it's, it, yeah, the trout loves it. I was very successful with this uh, last summer. I caught a trout, it was around 1.5, two kilograms. I put it in the link uh, up here so you can, you can watch that too. So it's, it's really, Easy to tie also, I, I will show you. You have a thread, uh, brown I use, uh, I use foam, uh, two millimeters. Um, I use also uh, some dubbing for, for, the, for the body before, before the foam. And of course I use uh, rubber legs. Um, the hooks, I, I, you can use different I have three here. I, I, will, I will link different hooks. It's, it's always like that. Uh, oh, I have to have that hook. Just that specific hook when you see some other YouTube videos. Uh, no, you can use different, of course. So I, I, I will link them below. It's just an example what you can use. Use what you have back home, right? So uh, I think remember Every second Sunday, I, I will put a new video for, for dry fly patterns uh, now on. And uh, so please subscribe so you get, get an update every time I put up a new video. Yeah, I think we, uh, I think we just go for the video and uh, tying the fly and we talk, we talk there. Yes. Okay. I think we just head into the uh, one thing. Um, I was I forgot to mention in the introduction of the video that I use also polyon. Yeah, polyon. So um, so for the hook for this one, I use Rx. FW511 Warblers. Um, as I said before, you can use different hooks. I also use new hooks. Uh, um, or the original is two length uh, dry fly hook. I think Oryx has one. I, I, will, I will mention it in the dis description below. Uh, for the foam. I usually cut them like this. I can show you a little fast how I'm doing it. Let me see if I find the scissor. Oh, it's here. So I just take the foam about one centimeter or something. Cut it like this. Oh yeah, and then I cut it like this. Oh, uh, so you can, and then you see, not I want it to be like like that. Something like this. Okay. So you got it. Here you go. There is a nice. Then you can cut it. Okay, let's start. I start dubbing from up here. Uh, I use SLF. Actually, it's saltwater dubbing. I, uh, I really don't care. It's it's a root beer. Uh, it's just for the 
uh, below the foam so I, um, I'm just dubbing a little bit that's good Oopsie I see I think that's fine. Then you start with your foam like that. I want it to be around there. Two looser turns, maybe, and then two with more with the fast one. Uh, faster, a uh, little harder ones. Um, okay, the rubber legs. I use black and white, these ones. You take one and do four legs. You can Dress the fly afterwards. So I will. I will cut four. You can't see in the camera, but I doing it right here. Okay, the first one uses thread. Put it around. What am I doing wrong? Nothing. I never done does anything wrong. Remember that. There you go. Just flip it up a bit. I think that is a little too long, so I just do it like that. That's a nice spot. And um, the other legs, a pair of legs. Oh, that's nice. That's going to be a nice fly. Yep. There you go. Uh, I just cut it a little bit there. There you go. There you can see the two pairs of legs at the back. And now we take and go forward to around there. Two loose turns and some more little harder turns. Yeah, uh, then we have the polygon that I use using like this okay you can start just like that something like that okay there you go and then you take your needle let's do it I'm doing it like this Mm. There you go. And then you just cut it around there. And there you have a nice indicator on the fly. And then two, two more pairs of rubber legs in front. Something like that, I think. Let's 
good and the uh, one And uh, another pair of legs. Yep. Around. Uh, oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. And then behind the hook guy more turns and the, we finish one or two times easy fly to tie just doing it do it sometimes and then you get the feel of it and then you it's 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 really easy and very effective fly There you go, I cut it around there, I think. And this floats like a big ass. There you can see it. It's so nice. And you can trim the legs a little bit so you get feel of it and uh, yeah it's 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 done i have a few other i have it i also do it in black i think this is size 14 uh, black foam uh, easy good fly yeah so i think this is it um, so we see you in uh, two weeks then and I will come with another fly. I think that's uh, going to be uh, another dry fly called Dyret. Yeah, see you.